office is on the fourth floor. So welcome to CERN. This is the reception building and behind me in this direction this is where all the action happens. Actually the Atlas detector is over there which I will show you later in the Atlas control room. And over there is the Atlas building where all the analysis is being done and where hopefully in a few moments, days or weeks the Higgs will be discovered. So please follow me inside. So this is the Atlas Control Building. It's roughly the scale of the Atlas Detector itself. Uh, and you can see it's painting on the side. Actually, is it bigger? Is it Atlas bigger? Anyway. Uh, so in, in here's the control room and various meeting rooms and uh, the visitor centre, which we're going to go to now. So this is the model of a magnet of the LHC. And you see that there are two separate beam pipes. The LHC is accelerating two beams of protons in opposite direction. So that means that you need two different set of ma uh, magnets as well that bend the proton beam uh, into the same curvature. So to, to reach a very high magnetic field, these magnets are actually superconducting. So the whole area here is cooled by liquid helium, which is an extremely good uh, heat conductor. It's actually super fluid uh, liquid helium. So ask Rich Haley about how that works. He will gladly explain that to you. So what you see here is the beam pipe in the center where the protons are going through. So that will be evacuated. And surrounding here uh, are quadrupole magnets. So you not only need to bend the, the beams into a circular motion for the LHC. You also need to, to squeeze the beam so that the two proton beams are colliding with each other. And that is the task of these quadrupole magnets that you're seeing here. And as I said, these are superconducting uh, to be as strong as possible. And on top here, you see the whole cryogenic section that, that's an infrastructure that's needed to cool the magnets down. And as we noticed well, two years ago, uh, this can go horribly wrong if, if liquid helium expands suddenly and becomes a gas because there's some, some heat source somewhere, then the whole thing uh, yeah, explodes dramatically and uh, brings a lot of disruption. As I said, you do, you do various eight-hour shifts in here. You'll be trained on, if you, if you worked here, you'd be trained on a specific uh, task and you'd sit one of these desks and they can measure it for eight hours at a time. Uh, and then write up a report, introduce the next person on shift and carry on. And then go home and rest. Si una partícula cargada atraviesa un campo magnético que parte es lo que se llama se desvía la cadena cargada se llama la la which is ejecting a new beam for physics analysis. Ramp up means the charging the beam up. Stable beams means everything's fine when there's collisions happening inside the detector like so. So CERN is an international organization that tries to find out what the fundamental properties and the fundamental laws of matter are. 
So it was founded sometime in the 50s by European nations, but now it's actually much larger. Uh, the US is part of it, uh, some countries in the Middle East, China. So it's really where the world comes together to find out what, what governs the laws of physics and what the fundamental particles uh, are. ATLAS is one of the main experiments at CERN. It is actually a multi-purpose experiment um, that really tries to look at all the non-understood aspects of partic particle physics that we know about. And there are a few. The, the first one is the completeness of the standard model. Um, the last particle that we're missing of the standard model is the Higgs boson. So this is one of the, the most important ingredients and it makes the standard model tick. But we know that there is something out there in the universe that we don't quite understand that yet. And we try to reproduce that in the laboratory at the LHC and in ATLAS. So we're looking for particles that we haven't seen before um, to try to figure out what might be behind the things that we see in the universe and that we don't understand. 